of a reverse engineering program. In some of the UFO crash retrieval material, we've looked at it and we found that the materials used are very strange. When extraterrestrial material is recovered through military crash retrievals and its metallic structure is examined under a microscope, the metal is so pure that we could not replicate it, even in a vacuum in space. This is because extraterrestrial crafts are not manufactured on a Ford assembly line the way humans would manufacture something. Everything in the material universe has a frequency and a corresponding sound vibration that creates and sustains its being. Extraterrestrials manufacture objects by first creating a resonant frequency. For instance, the frequency of a flying saucer. This is a sort of vibrational blueprint that interacts with the substrate of the physical universe, pulling into existence from other dimensions atoms and molecules that then organize and condense into the structure of the object being created. In this way, extraterrestrial material is literally manifested into being, like trans-dimensional 3D printing or Star Trek's replicator technology.